All right, guys, it's been a while since I did a video. Um, between the coronavirus and uh, I had to get one big chore done in my house. Uh, we replaced 900 square feet of uh, laminate flooring with tile and I had to do all the baseboards and uh, all the qu uh, quarter run on that. So finally done with that. So guess what? I moved the trailer to my place. There she is. So you guys remember um, I made a big mistake <clears throat> and um, I took out these cabinets and Larry kind of scolded me on YouTube which I appreciate and so what I've just done is I clean it all out um, there's the pile of my remnants of the cabinet I'm gonna rebuild the cabinet um, I'm probably gonna use about 80 percent of the original uh, material and then whatever can't be salvaged I'll uh, I'll get new so that's gonna be the first thing I do is I rebuild that cabinet put it back to where it's uh, supposed to be like Larry told me to um, to regain the structural integrity of the trailer uh, there's nothing much I could do about the roof right now uh, at least I have the cross members across um, what I'll do is I'll probably put another 2x4 framing from uh, probably here down the floor just to keep it propped up after the cabinet goes on. Um, I did leave everything else, obviously. I did not touch anything else, and I will not. And then once that cabinet is done, I will go ahead and uh, take the skins off on the, on the passenger side, the roadside, not the roadside, but the passenger side, the curbside. And um, we'll go from there. It literally right in front of my garage, which gets me access right into the trailer and some shaded area. Uh, this is going to be a work, my uh, work area. Got my chop saw, saw station. I got a table there. I got my table side here. And obviously all of my tools here. Um, I just got back from Lowe's. Uh, bought myself uh, a good pile of poplar. And... Um, like I said, I took detailed notes, and I'll, I'll show them to you right now, and measurements of um, the closet that I took apart. And I was very methodical in actually reconstructing the cabinet and getting some really accurate um, numbers off of it. So based off of that, I'm going to rebuild the two cabinets. This is basically small, not small, but it's 54 and a half inches tall, um, only 20 inches wide uh, closet and then right here is another one and right below that is the ice box that we're gonna keep below that next uh, in front of the wheel well is gonna be some more storage area so again I uh, got some good accurate numbers I'm gonna start ripping my pulp down the dimension there's one piece up here that um, is shows the profile of the the, the roof I'm keeping that. I have that piece. I'm going to use that, uh, the used piece as a template. And I'm going to make it out of poplar. So the closet itself is going to be new. Uh, looking at uh, the rest of the cabinetry and the trailer itself, it uh, looks like um, the skins are in pretty bad shape. Very, very brittle. Um, so if need be, I want to keep the, the actual frame of it. And if I need to take the skin off and reskin it that's not going to be as big of a deal as it is if I have to rebuild the whole cabinet so that's where we're at I don't know if you can see that the upper cabinet has a hole in it already on the side that was there when we got the trailer so anyways guys uh, this is it this is my shop uh, the ideal situation would be and when I get into the cesarean stuff when I start doing the outside frame of this I'll pull my table saw out to my driveway um, I'll be able to just push the trailer back down uh, towards the grass area over there and then uh, just pull the table saw out and have a nice big uh, area to, to chop some wood if I need to. But here I am in the shade. Uh, I got good lighting and um, we'll see how it goes. So stay tuned and uh, I'm real excited to get this started. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of work and a lot of lessons learned already from Larry and, and I forgot the other guy's name. I'll have to mention your name later. But uh, again, I'm going to take it step by step. I'll take uh, breaks and uh, look at Larry's uh, videos and uh, just refresh my memory, making sure I'm doing this correctly because 
it's it's a little jewel we want to we want to keep her so once we we're done with this and i have no timetable on this one to be honest with you i still work full time so this is going to be my weekend project and uh as much as i can in the evenings but uh, we'd like to do a total of three of these so when we move out of state and we have a piece of property you can set three of these up on our property for our daughters and their babies and our son-in-laws to stay in so that'll be pretty cool so anyways stay tuned for the uh, more to come thanks a lot you guys for watching and uh we'll uh, keep going talk to you soon bye welcome back guys um i'm back at it again like i said before i'm reconstructing that cabinet that i ripped out and i was able to get the majority of the structure back together again I'm not gonna after looking at the structure and and, and the wood I'm not going to use uh, the same lumber uh, just just too too many defects it's kind of rotted out so I'm gonna replace it and use this as an actual template and uh, rebuild it I'll use the same skin veneer to match the rest of it the plans are to uh, keep the rest of the trailer as is, but just update it, but I need to redo the skins on them. But uh, I'll use poplar for the frame or pine, most likely poplar. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'm about to uh, get some measurements and uh, go at it. And hopefully this week can start um, buying some material and working at it. Okay, I'm gonna dive, start doing some uh, pocket screws. I just screwed on my uh, jig uh, onto my uh, Craig jig onto my chop saw, just so it doesn't move around my solid surface. So it'll make it a lot easier for me to do that. So I'm gonna drill all my screws first, my holes, and then I'll screw them in with an inch and a quarter uh, uh, screws. All right, guys, here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
right guys I battery ran out so I didn't get to show you guys the whole um, pocket screw uh, detail but uh, the face is done I'll show you a little bit of uh, some detail of pocket screws came out really nice this Craig uh, pocket screw system is phenomenal and again this is just uh, put in here to make sure it it fits perfectly and it actually does. It's nice and solid, really uh, uh, fixes the wobble on the, the roof. Obviously it's going to be nailed from uh, the top down eventually. But again, uh, same dimensions, same exact same layout, like I said, bottom door access, a little bit of storage, middle section ice box, another short cabinet here, probably put a couple shelves in here. This tall one here is, I'm going to guess, a wardrobe closet. I'll probably put a, a wardrobe uh, bar up high and then a shelf at the bottom for shoes. But now I just have to do the sides. This side and this side. And then there's a little uh, stool right there that i got to rebuild. Uh, exactly like that. But it goes on this side. So guys, um, I'm really happy with the progress. Again... Um, really happy and excited. This is really turned out to be a lot of fun. I uh, got this face frame uh, cut, screwed in, probably about two and a half, three hours. So we'll see what uh, what comes next. I'll do this side adjacent to the door next. So, all right, guys, take care.